All right, back to making bills, and this one is a real snooze fest. Who does he think he is? I just told you who I thought I was. Ollie Oxen. I just told you. That's who I think I am. So this is our sleeper, built in the compact Presario case. A lot of fun making this. And let's just go over some of the parts real quick. So if you remember in one of my last vlog style videos, I told you that the 3700X in my main rig, I bent one of the pins and I didn't realize that the pins were bent at the time, but I just knew that the CPU wouldn't boot. A couple days ago, I decided why not just test it, see if it's better. 
I checked the pins, fixed it as best I could, and wouldn't you know it, it turns on. So that's why we put the 3700X in this build. Now the 3060, that was from the last PC that we tried to flip. And big surprise, it didn't sell. Apparently nobody wants to buy a Ryzen 5600G with a 3060 at market price, but whatever, to each their own. And it's asleep right now. Let's wake it up. There we go. The only RGB is from the AIO. Originally, I had the Wraith Spire in there and I actually included a couple of RGB strips. But when I powered it on, something about it just seemed gaudy and very unstealthy. It wasn't, it wasn't a sleeper, it was very awake and it kind of took away from the whole vibe that I was going for as far as being an understated powerhouse. So I took all the RGB out and only thing I have left is the white light coming from the Corsair AIL. We will be addressing that in the next iteration. Now, speaking of iterations, I have so many cool things planned for this build. I'm not gonna ruin it just because I wanna make sure the next video is fresh, but we're not gonna change anything on the outside because that's the whole point. You're not supposed to notice that's a sleeper just by looking at it. You have to get inside of it to really tell that it's not what it seems, but that doesn't mean that the inside has to be ugly too. So I, I can't wait to show you where we go from here. Oh man, this, this is gonna be crazy. Thanks for stopping by. I, I appreciate the time. If you like what you saw, if you like the build, consider leaving a like, uh, dropping a comment, definitely tell me what you think, what you would have done differently, what I could do differently to make it better. Even consider subscribing. And uh, I think that's it. Appreciate you stopping by. Catch you in the next one.